mets. Täna on siin väga vaikne. Täna ei unda saed, ei keunu harvester, siin ei olegi kedagi. Isegi mitte puid. Kas keegi märkab kusagil mõnda looma? Ei, siin ei käigi loomad. Loomad ei hulgu siin juba ammu enam. Isegi lüba hundte pole ainult mets. Siin metsas ei ole isegi tuult. See mets ei mühise. Kuskil ei praksu oks, ei lange leht, ei kägise murdunud tüvi. Kuskil ei laula ainuski lind. See on Eesti mets. Kuulake vaikuse häält. Kuulake vaikides. Kuulake, kuidas ta iniseb tasa. Kuidas ta nii utsub. Kuidas ta tahab midagi öelda, aga ei oska. Kuidas ta piniseb nagu sääsk. Kuulake vaikuse kõminat vaikuse raginat. See otse kummitab kõrvus. Kummitus vaikus. Kummita kuldne loom. When you swiftly emerge in spaciousness and your soothing gaiety entices me, I no longer belong to myself. I'm overtaken by an all-pervading feeling that gushes movingly beyond my knowing, igniting me like a spark in a firestorm, then flickering within every particle of my being I'm smouldering towards your dazzling presence as my heart overjoyed burst delightfully, soaring with the light of your supreme love. Here is the vista we meet, straddling along a perfect skyline where our worlds intersect. A welcome relief for our yearnings, far from the struggled chaos and an escape from the mundane. Here is a sea of tranquility, ebbing between us, where we connect once more. As ether meets ocean, rippling between the longing of our innermost desires. Here is the sky that shelters our deep and special union where you know me as I know you. Conjoined in a kinship of hearts, entwined within a fantasy, painting a golden horizon
a warm gust blowing under sleepy velvet sky reveals an open canopy of scattered stars and with it reawakening forgotten memories that echo in the breeze in the stillness of the night and then I hear love whispering in my soul and know the answers to unasked questions leaving this heart wedged between solace and solitude like momentary peace to the dying shelter. Archive is the disembodied voice of a palpable consciousness. Archive is a jumble dream. Archive needs poetry you must never forget. Archive is inscription. Archive is inspiration. Archive tells many stories. I am archive and a mere inscripted postcard cuando regresamos a tu habla e iniciamos nuestro propio país, toma esto como directriz. Memoria de un animal es tuyo también. Archivo todos los pulgares oponibles de que tenemos registro y muchas identidades, sabiduría. Archives murmur, circulates around. Archive lets originals breathe. You can't tamper with archive. It's a strange cosmology. Archive is an antithesis to a war on memory and stealing of poet fire. Archive is the tender footprint. Archive will not tread on the footprints of the most vulnerable. Deja que archivo registre los nombres de los que salen de este mundo. Albatros de Tristán, todo desaparecido, todo suicidio. Archivo, escuchen los márgenes. Archivo es una topología privilegiada. Archive exists as a map of the future beyond the exigencies of electronic media which has transformed the relative reality of homo sapiens sapiens. Si eres bueno para esto, memoriza por favor. Eres bueno para esto, memoriza archivo. Archivo podría ser seguro ante conflicto combinado. Gain intellectual control of the collection. Considera la expectativa de vida de la cinta. Water pipes run through storage space. Materiales están alojados 100 años en una llanura de aluvión con oscilación medioambiental. Nada de control climático. Security. Multiple keys to storage exist. The space is not secured. Walls that leave space at ceiling height can be easily breached. Colecciones digitales en CD que están expuestos debido a fallo del disco y Archive is housed by and reanimates sentient beings. Archive is nest, is house, is reverie. Archive will hold you, and the line, I swear, comes from the breath. Archivos alborada, como alba, esta guilied, 
es seducción, es nemocine, archivo está moribundo. And archive is not dying. The archivo no Who está is to push the buttons to instill and install the implants of archive. A forest, una gente lejana, a forest, un bosque, a climb, una montaña para escalar, un ocaso, un aranjo, una tela para el cuerpo, cuerdas sólidas para rodear y transportar, dinamita con una A para contener tierra, una A para leer las constelaciones en el cielo. Moon a fingernail above you. It's a modest proposal, and sometimes a wildebeest on the tundra remembers a former life, and an albatross crossed your shadow at sea one day. Tristan, whose name means sadness, quested the grail and drank a love potion. Esto es la prueba sublimada de cultura y de identidad. Here I stand among the trees, at the top of the mountain, tall, wrapped in foliage. I see soft undulations of green, emerald green, sage green, green turning to gold and reds with the seasons. I see the curvature of the hills, a landscape that bulges and swells. I see the beauty of it all. They call me Ashira, queen of the forest. Queen of the forest indeed I am, commanding respect for the hills and forests, respect for the rivers and creeks, for all that is green, for all that lives and grows. One day, not long ago, I heard rotating blades, tractors and bulldozers encroaching on my forest, my beautiful green woods. They moved closer and closer, leaving marks of burnt earth, truncated trees lying wounded, the river below muddied, its clear water murky. The bulldozers kept moving, Gaping holes opened up. The forest shrunk. 
Where would the birds come to nest? Who would sing me a song at dawn? From where would clean water come? What air would we breathe? With grieving heart, I weep at the distraction. Tears roll down my face, cascading down, converging into a river. Sei still und hör dem Wasser zu, dem Nebel, dem Tropfen, der Welle. Der Fluss ist alt und weiß mehr als wir wissen. Es gilt zu hören, was er sagt und wie er sich bewegt in seinem Lauf. Danach richten wir uns, wenn wir klug sind, am Bach wie am Strom. Wir sehen es an und staunen immer neu. Die Hydrologin Sie hat es mit dem Logos, mit dem Wort, spricht also mit dem Wasser. Und der Geograf schreibt achtsam auf, was das Wasser in die Erde schreibt. Was es bewegt und ändert und verlagert, wo etwas aufblüht und gedeiht und leben kann. Und auch was untergeht in diesem Wasser, aus dem wir gekommen sind. Du lebst davon und du kannst darin untergehen. Es trägt dich und es trägt dich in die Welt und unter alle Sonnen und zieht dich dorthin, wo für dich kein Atmen ist. Seine Schönheit und sein Zauber, sie sind unbegreiflich und zugleich erbarmungslos. So mächtig sind die Widersprüche und seine Erscheinungen zwischen Bewässerung der Felder, einer todbringenden Dürre oder einer Überschwemmung und dem Erstarren in Eis. Wie immer du es bestaunst oder besingst oder in einer herrschsüchtigen Hybris gar zu regeln versuchst, dem Fluss bist du ein Nichts. Und inzwischen wissen wir auch, wer die Musik eines Wassers reglementiert, wird selbst ertauben und sein Mund wird trocken werden. Warum ist es, wenn du am Ufer hockst, steht so jemand wie ein Therapeut für dich? Therapon heißt ja Gefährte. Sei einfach still und höre zu. Der Welle, dem Tropfen, dem Nebel.
After Friedrich Holderlin has went on holidays to walk out and see the field. He stood behind the house, so we stand here and there. From a night of heat, the cooling lightning fell across this heath too. Fairy lights, foreign fields. And the stream returns once more between its banks. And I too fall back into bed in a single stroke. And with the heavens delighting rain, I still drip when I'm fast asleep again. In quiet sunlight stands the grove of trees. Clearly audible, the drying of things in us. Like this they stand in favorable water. As we stand, forgetting how things bleed away. All present with a lighter race. Forgetfulness teaches us to be the idiots we are. For when in certain seasons of the year nature seems to sleep. She does not really sleep, but beats. The poet's face is also sorrow. Go on and blub. Fist at our throat as one beats sheep at shearing time. For even when she rests, she senses what will be. As one rests, when one forgets, as soon as it's done. But now the day breaks, waiting I saw it come. But now it makes me mad. For she herself, who is older than the oldest sheep. Older than the sharing, older even than the sharing blade. Nature now has woken with the sound of arms. Our light strings stretched across the night are all the same to her. By established law, as in former times, born from holy chaos, she shares patterns and logical theories, cuts us off in one go. Creator of all things, once more, you ask where she is? Ask instead, can you bear her? Blow after blow. Say, shining sheep, shining sheep.
Shining sheep, Friedrich. And now, go to sleep.